Hi, welcome back. This time we have a request from Charlie, who says, uh, does anyone know how to use a standalone rack mesh waveform mesh to allow one to show an audio waveform above their head? Absolutely. Very easy. I'll show you how to do it. So I've got a copy of my avatar here. It's still around. I don't like, I'm just keeping the hat for now. Um, anyway, uh, so what we're going to do first of all is create the mesh and then set it up. So uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead on the developer tooltip, create new empty object. I'm going to go ahead to attach component assets, procedural meshes, um, standalone rack mesh, standalone rack mesh, audio source waveform mesh. With this added, I'm going to go ahead and hit set up render. We'll get this uh, blue rectangle right now. I don't really know why it's blue. I think it should be why it's just reflecting the skybox or something. Doesn't matter either way. Um, and you'll see that there's a property on this um, standalone rec mesh that says source, and then there's uh, an empty field here, null. This needs to be assigned to the audio source of you, as in your voice. Easiest way to do that is to go down to attach component, go all the way down to users, common avatar system, Audio, Avatar Voice Source Assigner. With Avatar Voice Source Assigner attached, uh, you see where it says Target Reference here? What this means is that when you equip the avatar, the target reference here will be set to um, uh, the voice source of the person who equips the avatar. So to get that set up, we just drag Source into Target Reference here. That's set up there. Uh, and then we're, we're good to go. The last thing we need to do is to parent it to the avatar so that it's part of the avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll just we'll just chuck it on the mask for now. Now, of course, that's going to be in the middle of my view when I equip the avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset its position, its rotation. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done rotation. I'm going to do that one. I know what happened there. Anyway, and we'll move it up above my head. Make slot selected. Let's go up one. Select that. Select that. There we go. Now that can go just above my head. Now I'm going to go ahead and equip this other avatar, turn around, and you'll see that it is an absolute mess right now. That's because the default settings aren't actually the ideal. Maybe we can change the default settings. If you've come up with some good default settings, maybe chuck in a, uh, a GitHub request about that. So now we're going to be using a mirror for the rest of this just to like make this uh, less chaotic, I guess. Uh, if we drop down the width, down to a more liney thing. You'll see there now we've got um, a waveform going. Um, and you can just keep editing stuff there. Uh, so for example, the uh, history length will uh, extend the thing. So that looks a little bit better. Now you've got the uh, audio waveform. Um, looks more like what you'd expect from like a film or a TV show or something like that. Uh, we can of course also change the color. Uh, although that doesn't do anything. I don't even know why that doesn't do anything. What does that do? Someone tell me in the comments. Anyway, uh, we can just go down to the material here and make it red. And that that should get us a red one. Yeah, that does get us a red one. And there you go. There's an audio source waveform. Of course, you want to shrink that down and, and make it part of your um, you know theming, etc. But but that that's basically it. Play around with those settings some more. Uh, see what you can do. And uh, I'll speak to you next time. Ah!